with another video as you can tell basically today is just gonna be like a get ready with me for thanksgiving so if you want to see how i achieve this look then just keep on watching what's up y'all so i'm just gonna jump straight into this look and i have already done my eyebrows as well as primed my eyelids now i'm gonna start with the eyeshadow and I'm going to be using my signature 3502 palette by Morphe. And I don't have any look in mind in particular. I'm trying to just really keep this look kind of classic, but smoky. But I do want a lot of orange tones in this look today because my outfit that I'm wearing does have some orange in it and I am going to be wearing this tank top as y'all can see. So I'm just starting off by blending orb all over my crease. Oh, it doesn't have as much pigment on this side. Taking it all from the inner corner to the outer corner and just really smoking it out. And after that shade, I'm going to take a blaze in the same palette and focus it on the outer corner I think I need to pack this shade on first I had to switch my brush so I'm focusing it on the outer corner as well as the inner corner over part of the crease. I said I wanted to do something soft and subtle and look at me. My bad y'all, somebody called me so I had to pick up the phone. But um, while I was on the phone with them, I added brick in the same places that I added a blaze and just kind of blended those two together. And now I'm thinking about adding rich kind of like just in the outer and inner corner and maybe a little bit along my crease line we're gonna see how this looks because this is a really really deep brown oh shit why did i add this so I'm gonna take that same brush that had brick and a blaze on it and just try to work this out. Okay, that blended out pretty. And I'm doing a halo eye, y'all. So that's why I left that little spot in the middle, if you don't know. Okay, that kind of toned the orange down a little bit. So I like that. And I'm really just picking up a tiny bit of the rich on like the tip of this brush and like just like tapping it in those areas because I don't want the brown to be like too overpowering. But y'all, let me know what y'all got planned for Thanksgiving today. I'm pretty sure everybody's just like going to their like folks houses and eating unless you're hosting Thanksgiving yourself but other than that I'm pretty sure you're just like eating I'm gonna take a little bit more of a blaze on the back side of that brush not where the not where I blended out the brown on this side but on the other side and I'm just gonna take that around the edges just to kind of brighten it back up a little bit. So I'm gonna go back into Orb and just diffuse these edges again. And I'm not using a lot of product at all. Okay, so. I'm gonna put sauce and pure in the middle of my eyelid. So with a clean kind of angled shader brush, I grab some of sauce 
I'm gonna spray it lightly and I'm gonna put that in the center of my eyelid. I think I'm gonna blend it a little bit into my inner corner. Not completely, but just take it over just a little bit more. I'm going to take some of Pure and tap that on top just to brighten it up a little bit. I like what that did. The way that orange and gold reflect. So that is it for the eyeshadow look on top. I'm just gonna line my eyes. Okay guys, so I apply my lashes and stuff off camera. I'm about to start on my face now. So I'm gonna be using one of my all time favorite foundations. It is the Long comb tint a doll. And I have not used this foundation in a while. Not for any particular reason. Mainly just because um, I've been sticking to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Foundation. It's the perfect shade for me. I don't have to worry about mixing or anything like that. And it's not a super mattifying foundation. It's very hydrating, even though I am oily. And I think all around, it's just a better foundation for me. But times where I want my foundation to be like, I guess long lasting. Also, I feel though, or I feel like it gives me better coverage because it is a bit thicker, higher quality, you know. I hope I mix these shades up good. And if you know me, then you know this trick that I do where I take my foundation and conceal the top of my brows so it doesn't give me that halo brow effect. Still nobody won't dig. I really hope this is a good foundation match. I don't know.
Now we're gonna do the waterline or the lash line. Sorry, I ain't been telling y'all what I've been doing. Basically, I just put some of Orb on my bottom lash line and then I mixed a blazing brick and put those two kind of like on the outer part. And this lash is trying to pop up, so I'm just trying to stick it back down. Okay, I've been sitting here for way too fucking long, so I'm gonna try to hurry up and finish this shit. Oh, I don't know what I'm forgetting. Bottom mascara. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna do my hair really quick and show y'all the process on that. Yeah, hold on just a second. Sit tight. So right now, y'all, I'm really just fluffing my hair out. I like to put water in it when it's natural. And then I go and add either some oil or a cream or something. Today, I'm mixing conditioner, one of my favorite hair oils, and a little bit of water just to help me fluff out my curls because I don't like to put the stuff in my hair dry because it doesn't it kind of like just sits on my hair. And in order for me to make my hair more voluminous like I want it to be, I'm just gonna lift my head or tilt my head upside down and kind of like pick it out with this comb like the roots so and then do it over here do it over here well not pick it but just wave it all around and you see that added a lot more volume like i like I'm gonna put a little bit more oil on my hands just so I can kind of smooth out underneath my hair because since it is like a looser curl pattern, it tends to get very tangled. Like these sections.
then I like to take it around my edges and now I'm just gonna style my edges really quick with some edge control and I'll be right back okay y'all so I'm back and I finished my edges I know that sounds kind of funny but I'm just gonna show you what they look like up close really quick I hope yeah y'all can see I don't really like to do like this one all the time like right by my ear especially like when I'm wearing my glasses and stuff I really don't like to do like that part but I know since my hair is down it's not really going to be noticeable really just the main ones at the front and everything but yeah so this is how I got ready for Thanksgiving I thank you guys so much for watching like comment share and subscribe and comment down below and tell me what was your favorite part what you did on Thanksgiving you know what all happened no I'm playing but um <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and bye Yeah, I want to see you back now.